Hello, people! Hi! We are here for our intermediate ballet, part one. Yeah, we are. And I thought it would be cool to bring in a male. <laughs> That's me, y'all. I swear. I brought in Maddie today so that I can kind of show you what it's like to do ballet on different body types and different range of motions and abilities. Um, plus, we were already hanging out, so. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm here, y'all. Deal with so, it. So, also, we thought this would be cool to show you. Yeah. <laughs> what, a, what a transition. <laughs> and intermediate ballet vlog begins. All right, guys, so in the last couple vlogs, I kind of showed you the arm positions, but we're going to go through them since we're getting a little bit more advanced. Um, a word that you want to learn is your epaulement. It's a very fancy word we'll have displayed here at the bottom of the screen. Um, epaulement means shouldering, but it's basically just where your head, your neck, and your eyeballs are looking in every position. So we'll start with a beautiful first position en bas, and I'll show it on that. Okay. This is a en bas, think, on a long stops in the middle of your belly button. On O goes above your head, because you're making an O. Easy. Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll open up to a nice second position. And our feet will open up as well. In this second position, you guys, you keep your elbows above your hands. You don't want to go the opposite way. Forward up, yeah? yeah? So we're here. Um, go ahead and take your right foot to a third position. Beautiful, so that heel is on the inside of that right leg. We'll take our arm across, and this is your third. We'll open up our right foot to a fourth and we'll lift our arm. This is an open fourth because there's open space right here, okay? Oh, well. If you cross this guy in front, this is a closed fourth because it's you closed. You can't get in. Yeah? Then we'll go heel to toe for a fifth position. Beautiful. And we'll lift to a fifth on O. And we're gorgeous. We're gorgeous, darling. Thank you. How do you feel? Gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> so, you guys, there are such... I'm done. There are such things as ballet fingers, um, and it's kind of like you're just holding a little cookie, a little cookie, in between your middle finger and your thumb, okay? And there's a little bit of air and breath in between the other fingers. So you don't want to have mittens, and you don't want to have like them actually attached. It's just a little breath like this, and your middle finger and your thumb are a little bit closer together. Are you making fun of me? No, I'm trying to help you. Is it not working? I'll leave. Friendship dynamics. <laughs> okay guys, so we're now at the bar, just like every ballet class starts. If you did the beginner ballet series, which you should, because this will make a lot more sense. Do it! <laughs> um, you'll have done your plies, your tendus, your dégagés, your rond de jambes, all of the fancy French names, yeah? So today I'm gonna to be teaching you your fondues. Just like a chocolate fondue, fondue Delicious. means to melt. Or a cheese fondue, but your girl likes chocolate better. Oh, who doesn't? Okay, so let's start in a nice first position, okay? We're gonna go tendu. Your foot's gonna come into a coupe, and you're going to plie, but that needs to happen at the same time. So we go tendu, coupe fondue, tendu, Coupe fondue, tendu, coupe fondue, tendu, coupe fondue, and we'll close to a first position. That all rhymed and it was really tough <laughs> not to laugh the whole time. Um, so I think we can show you maybe a little bit closer what's happening with our feet. So we're here, we extend. When we come back in, we bend and pull to a coupe at the same time. In. Keeping your knees rotated out, your chest and torso lifted, then we extend to the side. Your coupe is now going to be in the back. Coupe, extend to the back. Coupe, extend to the side. One more time, coupe fondue, close first position. Arms always come off the bar, and your epoma is away from the bar. All right, you guys, so, You'd always want to do your left side as well. So you have the right side and the left side. But there is a transition in between and it's not just a shake around, okay? Um, it's called a detourne. So we're going to start in a first position. You can have your hands on your hips for now. We plie, releve. This outside foot is going to close to your fifth position on releve, so your susu. You are going to detourne towards the bar, 
I've now shifted on the balls of my feet and my other foot is now in front and we plie in fifth. Let's have Maddie show one more time. Okay, so go ahead and go plie su su up. Close the outside foot, turn towards the bar, plie and finish. That's pretty much it. So that's your transition to get you to the other side, okay? <laughs> okay guys, so the arabesque. This is like the epitome of ballet. This is what you see every beautiful point dancer in their little ballet zeta picture. Your arabesque is long, it's straight, it's pointed, it's winged, it's everything, it's lifted, and it's a little tough, but we're gonna start facing the bar Pick the leg that you like. I like my left. Oh, God. We're going to tendu derriere, okay? Go ahead and hold that mat. Before you guys lift into your arabesque, check your posture because it'll translate to your arabesque. So our chin is lifted. Our tummy is pulled in so that our spine is as flat as possible, yeah? Our leg is straight and it's directly behind you. Be careful it doesn't get to the side, okay? So, we're facing forward, we're nice and square to the bar. We're gonna lift our leg up. I would start with a 45. Yes, please. You're gonna feel it in your back. Mm -hmm. Try and release those muscles as best as you can. And then keep lifting to, I would say, your full height potential, Maddie. Oh boy, here we go. Probably right about there. Okay, beautiful. So, Matt stopped at this degree because that's what keeps him technically sound. You can easily lift up to a high arabesque, but your back's all funky, your yeah. hips open. It's not technically sound, okay? Oh, it hurts your back too. So, exactly, and you don't want an injury like that. No. Um, keep your legs as straight as possible. Go ahead and lift as high as you can. Beautiful. This is lovely, and don't forget to breathe. So that's your arabesque, guys, and I'll show you. So that's kind of on Medi, right there. Um, you can just take a nice tendu and lift, lift, lift. Eventually, you'll get to like a winged, I feel like I'm like, <laughs> towards you guys. You'll get to a winged foot position. So Matt, do you want to point to the winged foot? So right. I'm lifting my pinky toes up towards the ceiling. And that's the alignment while keeping everything square and straight. So that's your arabesque. Move your body. Move your body. Hey. Oh, we're back. <laughs> All right. You guys, we're doing our waltz, my favorite thing. Um, you should already know the waltz from the beginning ballet series, but I'll refresh your memory really fast. We go step, brush, three steps, one, two, three, brush, okay? Now, these arms are going open, flip the palm. That's it, one more time. Open, flip the palm. Okay, so we're gonna attach the waltz with our balances, which we're gonna learn a little bit more about today. Our balances will start from the first position. It's your rocking step. So we went out, step, back, step, front. And out, step, back, step, front. Remember those guys? Now we're gonna add our arms. Take a nice, beautiful second. We step. As our foot goes in the back, our arm cuts into third. Extend and hold. Second cut, back, bring your arm in. And second cut, back, bring your arm in. And second cut, back, bring your arm in. If you are having a good time. <laughs> Which we are. If you are having a good time. Which we are. I said that like a robot. If you're having a good time, and you have that kind of down, you can add the eight palm off. So remember that's where your head is looking. We go into the rounded arm. Into the rounded arm. Into the rounded arm. And into the rounded arm. So, bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Our combo, let's actually go from first. Cool. Is waltz, waltz, balance, balance. So let's try it. Six. Seven, and step, brush, and brush, and balance. Again, and a waltz, and waltz, and balance, and balance. Yeah, it's really fun once you get the motion of it. It's Good very time. fluid. You feel pretty. I'm pretty. Yeah, you took my word. Sorry. <laughs> Friendship dynamics. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, babies, we're gonna do some turning. <laughs> so I've had you in the past 
the past, meaning like two weeks ago in those vlogs. Um, just, the past. just stand in center and do a nice tendu. We bring it back, we pop a lift, and we land lunge. But now you're a little bit more advanced, so we're gonna take you across the floor. You're gonna combine your tombe pas de bourre with your pirouette with your lunge. So this is how it's gonna look, and then we'll break it down. We'll go, and tombe, pas de boue, fourth, pirouette, and lunge. And tombe, pas de boue, fourth, pirouette, holy moly. Woo! Land lunge. <laughs> um, okay, let's break it down. Okay guys, so there's a little bit of intricacy when it comes to the port de bras and the ma with this combination. So we're gonna break it down for you. From the beautiful first, when we step for our tombe, our arms open to second. Bottom. They stay here for the backside front. Bum, bum, front is now your fourth. When you land in fourth, your arm comes into a third position, just like your pirouette prep. We go up to our turn, and we land in a lunge. That foot that is behind you now, which in this case is my right foot, is going to step forward to repeat. Tombe, back, side arm comes in. Pirouette, and lunge again. Tombe, back, side, forth. Pirouette, oh my gosh, these turns are not good today. And tombe, back, side, front, and lift, and lunge. And again, bum, 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 bum. Turn, turn. I think it's because I'm wearing a beanie. <laughs> I'm gonna blame it on the beanie. So that's why I can't turn off, today. Off. But you guys, that's your turn combo across the floor. So try the right side, then try the left side. Yeah. All right guys, so we are in center now for our petite allegro, yeah. our little baby jumps. And now we're gonna learn a petite jeté, okay? So first position, our hands on our little hippie toes. We go brush. You're gonna step onto that foot that you brushed. Just try that for a second. Brush, step. When you step, that other foot comes to a coupe derriere. It looks like this in the back. Again, brush and step. Seven and brush, step, coupe. Seven and brush, step, coupe. But that's gonna be a jump. So we now go plie brush, jump onto that foot, coupe. Try it again. Six, seven and. Plie brush, jump onto your foot. Yeah. So eventually you'll have a little jeté, 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 jeté. We're going through the forest and we're trying to find pears. Ba -na -na -na. Where they at? Is that what you do in forest? I don't know. Why Clearly why I've never been in a forest. Why would you look for bears? <gasps> Berries. Oh, they said bears. I'm like, well, I'm not going to the forest with you no more. There goes our New Year's plans. <laughs> Yeah, we're back. <laughs> you guys, I'm gonna teach you a petite allegro combo. So buckle up, cowboy. Here we go. Yeehaw. First position, Maddie's gonna demonstrate. <laughs> okay. Let's go um, two sautés in first, jump one, jump two, two sautés in second, jump one, jump two, two changements, switch your feet, two jetés from the back, and one and two, close fifth and stretch. Say what? Done. <laughs> Groups. Let's try that again. So we're here, guys. You're doing your sautés. Our arms are in um, brava for a first. So we play one, two. We jump out to second as our arms also open. One, two. We jump to fifth as our arms come to en bas again. We go one, two. My back foot is going to brush out and come to the front. One, two, close, fifth, stretch. Rewind that a couple times. Petite Allegro is always a little... Um, I don't like it, it's hard for Petite me. Petite Allegro is a little bit difficult to do. So don't get discouraged if you... Hi. All right. Don't get discouraged if you don't get it at first. Just rewind and go through, okay? Remember to have your heels completely hit the floor. Keep your upper body lifted and your arms as soft and delicate as possible throughout while your legs are doing all of the work. So straight and so pointed. 
Good luck. Have fun. All right, you guys, we are into our Grand Allegro, and I would love to teach you a pas de chat today. A pas de chat is the step of the cat, and I don't think I've taught it to you guys before. I'm really sorry if it's in the other video. Are we taking it today? Here revealing is key. Okay, right? That's it. Yeah, no. Okay. So, your pas de chat just um, <clears throat> isolated, hands on your hips, start in a fourth position. Okay, I have an open space between my legs. My back leg is going to come up into a bent passe, kind of, and my front leg into a bent passe. Plie, up, up. Again, plie, up, up. Okay? You want to attach that to your intro. So we'll start in first. Remember your tombe pas de bure glissade. So we go, tombe, pas de bu, fourth, glissade, pas de shot, up, up. One more time, bring it back. Bring it back. We're here. Say seven and fall, back, side, front, glee, side, up, up. And now me and Matt will show you what it's like to do it with a partner. Mostly because I just like being lifted. <laughs> Please hold for this quick hair change. Do, 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 do. I just get made fun of between these two, mm -hmm. between Brayden and Matt. I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> I am the victim. We're okay. back. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We're back. This is for fun. You guys can try this with a partner if you're a little bit more advanced. Yeah, good times. <laughs> it's, it's so fun. fun. It's a good time. Mm. Friendship dynamics. Boom. <laughs> I wish I was better. You are. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. Are you rolling? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, we're on to our very last jump. Um, Let's do it, y'all. It is our soda shaw, our jump of the cat. So we've kind of been building up to this big fancy leap. You know the prep. We'll show you again. Forget we just did like four leaps to prepare for this. Forget about so heavy tough. breathing over there. We go back, ba, ba, ba. Ugly saw. Remember your back leg develops through. You jump onto it. Um, I like to do a third position arm. So same arm that is in the front, or sorry, the leg that's in the front is the same arm that's the highest. So right leg, right arm high, left arm extends through. Let's try it. Oh. Boom, minute. Okay. Bear. Hey, don't be Please stop. Yeah, you can do it. I think we did something. I'll show you one more time, you guys. <laughs> Hello, hamstrings. Nice to meet you. Power. Pizzazz. Jump. Passion. Persistence. Pumpkin pie. Pepsi. <laughs> Sponsor us. No, yeah, really. Um, you guys, your leaps come from momentum. So if you're going very slow through the prep, there is no way your jump's going to be high or powerful. So just full send it through that intro and beep. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. That was, okay. That was more than I intended. That was more. But the point of it being is seriously just. Have faith in yourself. It's okay if your feet get tangled. Just go get the idea of momentum and your leaps will be so much better. Okay? Last time, here we go. Six, seven, and momentum. Ba -dum, ba -dum. <laughs> Woo! Yay! You guys, that was Intermediate Ballet Part 1. Um, make sure to watch beginning ballet part one and part two before trying this one. I'm very excited to be releasing this series. Keep your eye out for part two of the intermediate and then the advanced series. Whew. Get we're, your cardio we're ready. We're doing it, y'all. We're already out of breath. Yeah, mm -hmm. we need to, we should watch the cardio video after we film it. We should watch the cardio video. <laughs> do I have a cardio video? I have a warm up. I, think you have, I assume you have one for everything. I do. We got all the videos up here. Um, <clears throat> speaking of, we have a new dance vlog every single Wednesday and a new choreography video the last Friday of each month. Um, thank you so much for watching, you guys. We love you and we're so excited mm -hmm. to keep growing with you. So I'll see you next week. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye, y'all.
Do the whole May movie. I'm back. Lala, this is fashion. While she's gone, if you want to get fancy, you're here. You do a little look like. Don't listen to him. Don't listen do it. to him. Do it. It's way more fun. Don't listen. 